Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence, and who shoots 60% from three. And I'll be giving y'all the best tips and jump shots shoot better on NBA 2K25, okay? Now let me know first jump shot you've ever tried down below in the comments. Save the community. Best jump shots for the little builds, mid builds, and the big tall center build, okay? Swing builds, guard builds, everything. Make sure you send this video to somebody who can't shoot is everyone hey this is gonna be the most important video that you watch in 2k if you can shoot you're automatically better than 70 percent of people on the whole player base easily firstly here's a new jump shot jamal murray okay this is a pretty decent jump you see it got an all a grades don't go too much forward it looked good it got a nice height to it it's easy to time hey man there's ai man i like to use this on my 6'4 lot and other uh pg builds this is a baby t mac man i like this better than cam thomas okay i know some of you be using cam thomas on their locks i i can't shoot with it i don't know why it makes no sense to me bro Allen iverson it could be the best guard jump shot i ain't going okay it could be the best but i personally like Kyrie the best right now I'll show y'all that jump shot later on here's a slower Allen iverson version it's pretty easy to time bro just like the baby t mac it's a little faster one okay if y'all got them little six four locks the Allen iverson and watch what happened come back let me know look here's the best jump shot for five plus overall if you struggling to shoot if you got a homie who can't shoot a popper um, big iso build put this on you know you can get it at lower ratings too this is a um a t-mac shadow clone it's pretty good bro over was one of the best last year it's still him cam thomas is probably the most popular jump shot on the game um every most people like this one i, I don't like cam thomas i don't know what it is bro i be missing with it that's why i like Kyrie better and Allen iverson better it, it just seemed like it just seemed like you missed bro i don't i don't i don't understand but i be shooting on it with my my lock who only has an 89 three I don't know, bro. Bosch is a great jump shot for 6'10 plus. Okay. Put it in your bag if you're struggling. No, all you need is the 80. Feel me? For you damn NPCs that make stupid low builds, you shouldn't, guys. Never make an inside build when you play with randoms and have no friends. Okay. Stop. You're making the game way too hard for your teammates. You, you guys have to think, bro. What can randoms do the most? Most randoms can't shoot. So why would you make an inside? You make an inside when you have a team and you're trying to cheese, right? Like, if you're playing with randoms you should not make an inside stop being influenced by other people and you have to be able to shoot because you're putting the best defender in the paint guys you could just camp the paint and you can't it can pay for just camping the paint it's so stupid we are grown men i i, I don't get it it's one of the best jump shots for um big iso builds or spot ups this and culver is him okay try it out easy to time there's another alternate reality of it you're 610 plus and uh, 65 plus you want straight a Try it out, man. I heard it's a pretty good jump shot. Look, this is probably going to be your best bet for your uh, big man jump shots. The Isaac, you see your boy struggling. Give him that Isaac, man. There's another alternate reality of Culver's that damn Kyrie Irving. This not my favorite one so far. Like the version I use, I'm going to show y'all that. This is a nice one. You like it max speed? Easy to time, man. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite guard jump shot. Here's my favorite version of the Kyrie, man. Check it out. If you a big man build, try this jump shot out, man. I'm trying to tell you. Struggling to shoot? Try this out want to be different at kd 610 plus two it right out it's him make sure y'all subscribe and like man there's a lethal hot zone glitch they done already nerfed it in the new patch this chat guy posted posted it and this is basically what he doing right you know he give you a little tutorial now look they made it easier so you probably don't need to do it and also there's another finesse glitch if you don't get your hot zones um and you go to lethal even without getting your red spots if you go and get the hot spots right and you just go shoot up shoot versus him off rip he will shoot worse i don't know if it that's how it is after the patch y'all also let me know y'all's experience versus lethal after the patch because they said they nerfed him very good because you had to shoot nine out of ten in this damn rng shooting it's ridiculous but in this hot zone glitch man they saying all you gotta do is join pick three spots quit and then also after you get your red spots all you gotta do is go shoot in them like lethal percents and then they will actually turn purple later on that is what a lot of people say but he's saying quit as soon as it starts then close app join new park and repeat and he said that's how you get his hot spots y'all let me know a lot of people said it actually works i don't know if it works after patch it was this done on the patch i don't think so but they made it easier man so i, I don't know some people are too lazy to actually do it so maybe that can help look here the here the my career method real quick right 
look, bro, all you're going to want to do is put the game mode on rookie, right? And then you're just going to catch and shoot and shoot right over them. Go to your spot that you want the hot spots. Put it on five minute quarters or you can put it on whatever minutes you want and you can get all your hot spots. Do not play online until you get your hot spots. Every three point zone, get your hot spots. Look, it's very simple, man. You don't even got to dribble. You don't got to do nothing. Just look, just shoot it green. And you could just keep doing that. You can stay down there. Look. The shoot, it don't matter. It's on rookie. They're not going to contest you. Even if you go down there, just shoot the ball. Shoot, 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 shoot. Get your hot spots, dog. Same with the midi. You could do a screen fade. Get your hot spots, okay? Tell your friends also, don't play online unless you get your hot spots. I would say over 60, 70% of the community doesn't have their hot spots and they're playing online. Bro. Get your hot spots, bro. Get your lethals, man. It's just lazy, bro. It's so important. Before we get into the rest of the tips, 2K Tuts did a test with a modded controller, right? He tested out low risk, normal risk, high risk. So as you can see, high risk with, you know, between these, get, you're hitting at a higher percent, right? 80, 50. This, you're not going to hit as high, but it's almost there, right? And then low risk, it's a little lower than this one, right? Then when you get to here, right? Low risk, you know, it's eh. And it's like, eh. But then look, you're hitting at a higher clip than the high risk. And like the bottom tier, you really can't time your shot. Look, you can, but look, for the high risk, you're really missing it, right? So look, here's what I recommend. Of course, I'd say high risk. If you're decent at the game, and you can really time your stuff and all that. But if you're pretty horrible and you're more averages, you can try out the normal, man, and you could be Gucci. But if you, you know, you somewhat with it, I would say go high risk, bro. But um, if you're like lagging, you're some foreigner, and you got horrible internet, you can't get a land cable, you're always spiking, put on low risk, man. I mean, they letting it come on in the game. You could shoot 50%, you time it perfect, and then it's like way bigger. He did a chart basically showing like the green window. So like, you know, your range is like this, but it's like random when you gonna make it, you know? And you know, green is like you supposed to make it most of the time, but yeah. So 2K Tuts did another video, you know? 2K should actually be showing y'all this, and he shows you the the damn release points in this hole you know this is when you should be releasing it for jump off of what he's saying this is when you should be releasing it from set point and this is when you should be releasing it from push and then release is right here i prefer a release now look 2k lab put out a video you know with they modded controllers testing out button versus rhythm shooting and you can see rhythm shooting is way better i mean if you can get that in your game and throw it in every now and then do it you have way less room for error a you know bigger green window and yeah even with the normal you can miss time it and make it sometimes so it's kind of crazy now even in my other videos i've been telling y'all about set shot specialist right 2k lab did a video right basically make sure you get this at least gold in some way either with your max plus one or getting the 89 midi or three point and you will be able to shoot much easier you should only have it with these you're some type of god right and you're really trying to tap into something else but but if you know there's a lot of lag latency you want to deal with less of that you got to be gold plus okay he's saying this is the benefit you're gonna see if you invest more into it and all this and that this is the badge y'all need it's not just spot ups um any shot that's not fading it pops up okay you stop and shoot there's the limitless range y'all want to invest in it but uh, you should be playing on a monitor okay i know it sounds dumb but there's a lot of old heads in this world y'all gotta share this video you need to be playing on a monitor with all games there's a delay you're playing on some big 60 inch there's a delay it might look better whatever but it's a bigger delay you need to be playing on a monitor like the benq asic what a asic whatever it's called okay you need to be playing on a monitor i think i switched in like 2k 18 or something you know i was still a god at shooting back then but i don't know but y'all are even more delayed on a super del delayed game secondly very this is very important very, bro, it's so important that i can't even explain you need to be making sure that you are ethernet cable from your playstation into your router that is fundamental to playing online games or you're going to be delayed you're going to get way more lag spikes etc need the ethernet cable there are super long ones you have to get it if your mama don't want you to do it or whatever you're gonna have to find a way to get your own internet in your room you have to do it 
okay? Or you will um, be very unhappy. Now, you don't gotta hardwire your controller. There's actually videos out there saying you get less of a delay with your controller unplugged for the PS5 for some. You can look it up yourself. PS4 wasn't like that, I'm pretty sure. But for some reason, for the PS5, if you play without it plugged in, you get less delay. I don't know. But one thing for sure that I wanna tell y'all is make sure you always play either without your controller plugged in or with your controller plugged in because they're two different delays. It's just like when, when you play in the rec versus the park, they're two different lag delays, latencies and lag spikes. When you do it with, you're adding a different factor. So when your controller starts to die, you plug it in, you gonna notice that it, it just seemed different or you're just starting to miss. But but trigger effect, this is very important. Please guys, please send this video to your friends. When I play with randoms, especially the old heads, dog, that you hear it, you hear it, bro. That's all you hear in their controller. <laughs> bro, you can't play like that. It's disrupting you, okay? This is okay. But the, the trigger effect is in... <laughs> bro, you gotta... You know, you got something tripping in your hand bro how can you play you know just when dribble it's gonna it's gonna intimidate you you're gonna mess up your shots it's turn it off guys okay now look your shot timing profile put it here okay either here or here you can start off here this description it says similar to previous 2ks but according to 2k uh 2k lab chart that's not true because that doesn't represent those 2ks or i don't i don't know okay now look bro 2k makes it to where you have to have shooting boots to be able to shoot consistent i know it costs vc but if you want to shoot as good as you can you gotta buy the uh the shooting boots bro that that's just how it is and it gotta do with your gatorade so make sure you're doing your gatorade drills and all that man and i think you even get a discount unless they took it out this year but you gotta have jump shot boost and some form of gatorade so you know you have a bigger stamina meter and all this and that while you're moving around you shoot the ball hey you don't need all of them, but you need some of them, especially if you're a guard. They make you pay to play to uh, be consistent in the game. If you can manage without it, rock with it, but that's just how it be. Now, secondly, before you play online, okay, this is very important. You want to get your hot spots. Hit them through the My Career 12 minutes, lowest difficult, right? Or I'm going to show you all these courts. Now, look, to get your hot zones pretty easy, you're going to want to go to the Temple or the Dooms, okay? Look, let me show you. Wait, hold on. Where, where that? Where that? The Dooms, okay? Dooms or right here okay or you could do the my career lowest difficulty y'all let me know which is easiest so far look right here you got the board these people this is where you're gonna do it at man definitely need to get this badge max to be able to shoot consistently online man a lot of your shots are gonna be with this bad and a lot of your shots are gonna be with this badge too you need to get this up art of shooting gym this is where you're gonna want to go to get your purples get your reds first get your red hot zones first you're gonna go in here it looked clean it looked clean i don't know if it's just because it's new or what it looked clean to me feel me you know you know what we don't we don't look kind of clean you feel me it look clean but make sure you learn your shot before you actually attempt this. I hear the Gatorade drills closing app is patched. Someone let me know down below. I don't know. Cause y'all know if you mess up, you could close app. I don't know if you could close app on this. Like if you, you're starting to mess up. So, you know, figure that out. Let, let, let me know so I can let everybody else know. So, you know, we can have more fun on the game. Now, of course you wanna have no shot meter. You get a 20% boost to your green window. That's what they say. It's way easier to shoot without it. Just do it. I don't care. It don't help you guys. Just do it, bro. Trust me. Now look some people in previous 2ks you know y'all know having all this stuff on and off look you could take off a lot of stuff the green release animations you could take it all off if you know some people believe that adds latency and lag to your player you know so you could take off a lot of these things no ball trail a lot of people shoot way better without the ball trail so you know you can have this type of stuff off even when it comes to the feedback some people have it off i always keep it on but some people turn this off and they say they shoot better so if you're really struggling or you're really delayed or laggy and you know, you, I mean, you could test this out, see if it helped, but you know, that's just a method. Anywho, click the video on the screen if you want the best settings in NBA 2K25 to be a, uh, a dribble hot. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.